Assalamualaikum guys. Well, of the five dates. Here we go. The choices of this story is here. Let's see. Kathleen's study break. Oh, so she know how to. I mean, she loved the books. Cool. Hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm Ryan. Ryan, I'm Kathleen. Sorry, I just wanted to squeeze in a quick page. Do you mind if I get to the bottom? Yeah, by all means, far away. Oh, cool. Done. All yours. What are you reading? Uh, the Evolution of Bond Forming Dynamics Across the 21st Century by Professor Gertrude von Nosselhoff. Well, it must be a pretty good read if you're sneaking in pages in between dates. Oh, no, no, no. I have to finish it for a seminar tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a PhD student in behavioral psychology. Uh, what do you think of it? She has some interesting points. The chapter I'm on covers the influence of pop culture on behavioral modeling and attraction dynamics. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> no, that does sound interesting, but um, I mean, please don't ask my opinion on it, because I... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't expect that of you. But if this goes well, maybe you'll learn a little something. Okay, so you're here because you're looking for a study buddy. No, quite the opposite. I need someone to keep me out of the library occasionally. Oh. So the age-old work-life conflict. Which side of it do you fall on? Am I allowed to say that balance is best? No. No fence sitting one or the other. Work is... It's just a necessity. I mean, any moment I'm not in work or on the clock, I can devote to whatever I actually want to do. So you're a nine-to-fiver? At the very most. I don't think I could stay out of the library that much. Anyway, I have a confession to make. Okay, already. Everyone tells me that for whatever reason, I haven't lived. I don't believe that. I've never been to a nightclub. Never. What, your fourth stint as a student and you've never even set foot in a nightclub? I would rather spend the day in a cafe with a, a book and my laptop. This is your halfway warning, guys. Halfway. So you are still studying to become a more qualified psychologist. <laughs> the more you know, the more you earn. So where do you see yourself in five years? Sorry, I researched good speed dating questions before tonight. And that's what you got? <laughs> it sounds a little bit more like you researched good job interview questions instead. <laughs> I want a happy family by then. I just want to be in a loving relationship and however many kids life blesses me with. Okay, so say life has blessed you with one child, boy or girl. Okay, uh, blessed was a bit of a lame choice of words. <laughs> no, it was sweet. It was sweet. That's what every guy wants to hear on a first date. <laughs> I definitely want a girl. Yeah, I want a girl, I want to buy the dresses, I want, I want to do the hair, I want to learn how to do it. I just, I've never had any sister or anything, so... I just think it would really change my life. I've seen some friends who've had daughters for the first time, but it, it, yeah, it really changes them. Oh, you want to be a girl dad. I want to be a girl dad. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> Question. How do I know that all of this isn't part of your PhD thesis? That all the guys here aren't just your guinea pigs? You don't. But a study at the University of Virginia found that we are more intrigued by those whose thoughts and feelings are unclear. You have a study for Everything. Is that supposed to be my key takeaway from today? Uh, I'll offer you a better one. From Professor Nosselhoff? I'll find one from the start of the book. Ah, here we go. This is a good one. When we set off on a journey, we are riddled with excitement or apprehension. Nothing in between. It's not exactly one you'd read in the toilet, is it? <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> well... That's Nosselhoff's opinion, but I think that apprehension is our body's way of telling us that something is worth doing, despite the risks. You know, we can actually reprogram our brains to interpret nerves as excitement. They're similar chemicals. I did that before coming tonight. 
Is, like, would you do that before tests as well, that sort of thing? Oh, yeah. Very helpful for tests. It's clever, isn't it? Mm, brain's clever. Not mine. <laughs> got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Well, how do you fancy spending the final minute? Why not leave that to Professor Von Nosselhoff again? Let's get a takeaway from the end of the book. People only care about the end of the book. I want the answers. All right. Right now. Come on. I'm ready. Final words from the book. Everything is transient. Time, life, relationships, none belong to us. Only our purpose does. Around it, all else is determined. So the right things will enter the orbit that we create around ourselves. Is that what that means? Exactly. Every decision we make affects who's pulled into that orbit, whether we know it or not. Let's see, she's a bookworm, but she's kindness, confidence. She doesn't have humor. 90 or some scene from eight. She's good. Oh, let's see. One did, one did this go. What do you... What did they think of you, maturity? I am mature, by the way. The quote is actually really relevant to my life. I am finally focusing on my orbit and mine alone. Thanks for listening. No problem. And I'm glad to hear you're doing that. That's your lot, ladies and gents. Time's up. Let's be moving on. This was fun, Ryan. Yes, it was. It was really great to meet you, Kathleen. So I am not the biggest social media user, but they say that's the best way to keep in touch nowadays. <laughs> What's Professor von Nozelhoff say? <laughs> Who do you think I got it from? <laughs> At Kathleen Parker, 88. Okay. I got it. Have a nice evening. You too. The football logo was amazing, by the way. Master volume is really high. I have to move it up. Uh, there we go. A little bit low. There. Yeah, oh, that's a brightness. Oh, I thought it was a volume or something. Anyway, here we go. Brandy, right? Hi there. Uh, uh, I'm Ryan. That's it. Thanks. I'm Brandy. What do you do for a living? Oh, straight in, would I? It's a normal opener, isn't it? Unless you're unemployed. No, no, I have a good full-time job. I'm, I'm, I'm only making an observation. Well, I'm a beautician. Nice. So I know who to go to if I need my eyebrows threaded. You couldn't afford me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put the volume up and... Okay. I'm also doing an online course in international relations and I trade cryptocurrency. I just sold an NFT, actually. Oh, wow. A non-fungible token, yeah. The digital art market is so new and unpredictable. It must take a lot of skill to trade that. Well... Don't want to brag, but... <laughs> uh, I'm good at what I do. I do not doubt it. Sorry if I'm quite direct about things. We just don't have a lot of time. Sure, um, can what I... What are you looking for? Oh, okay, that is a big question. Important question. Look, at this point, my priority is focusing on myself and just having a bit of fun. Do I look like a casual kind of girl to you? No, no, but you do have a lot going on. Um, so you might only have time for something casual. I'd make time for the right person. Plus, if I was looking for oh, casual, I'd look elsewhere. Is that meant to be a diss? No one says diss anymore, Ryan. Right. So, do you live locally? Yeah, I bought a one bed up the road. It's top floor with an amazing view of the water. You bought a penthouse. The NFT was pretty valuable. 
Where do you live? I live 10 minutes away. Um, I live on my own as well. Flat? Yep. Buy it or rent it? Back to the quick fire round. I mean, we're covering a lot. Yeah, we are. So? Uh, I own it. Oh. You must have worked and saved really hard. I did, yeah. Um, well, look, I'm going to keep up with you. I have to do something. <laughs> See? You're learning. Slowly, but surely. This is your three-minute warning, guys. Three oh, minutes to okay. go. Just three minutes of lovely conversation. OK, let's move on to foreign affairs. Do you like holidays? I do. Where do you go? What sort of holidays do you take? What kind are you into, though? Um, I allowed to say a lad's holiday. Go for it. You won't hear from me again, though. Stigish and what is abroad? You can't beat a beach holiday for a bit of R&R. Very true. Vitamin D is essential for our well-being. Do you want a Speedos guy, though? No, 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 I am... I, I, I can't pull him off. Won't ask why. I, I could only afford to travel recently, so I've got a lot of places on my list. Well, what's, what's the top of the list? There's more than one thing. Uh, cruise the Galapagos Islands. Meet the sloths and turtles in Costa Rica. See the Iguazu Falls between Brazil and Argentina. I don't know, for me it's more about experiences. You know, I'm not so much into the historical stuff. Yeah, but I, and seeing new cultures as well. Like, it's amazing to go to new places and see the different people and all the places that you're in operate on a mm. daily basis. So, have you been traveling alone? I like doing things my way. Do you never get bored? Or lonely, like having to go to dinner on your own all the time? Well, I've got my phone or tablet for entertainment and talking to people, but um, I want less screen time. Ah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I always keep a deck on deck. <laughs> I mean, I, I picked this one up ages ago. I think it's got, I don't know, an extra king in there somewhere. An extra king? Uh, that might come in handy. Uh, depends on the game. Okay, next question. Does body count matter? Holy moly. I was not expecting that question. Well, you were getting too smug. So, what do you think? Oh, man. Yes, it does matter. For me, it does. Why should anyone's past have any relevance to the present? Because sex is a big deal. I think I would find it difficult to be intimate with someone if I knew that many other people had shared that same intimacy with them. But one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. So we'll be wrapping up very soon. So, how did my questions make you feel? There's a customer satisfaction survey. Your feedback is greatly valued. Is it actually, though? Only if it's good. It was nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good thing, right? Nice is a boring word that has no real meaning. Tell me the truth. I genuinely thought it was nice. Right? <laughs> OK. And your time is up. Thank you, ladies and gents. Lads, move on to your next table. Your date is awaiting. Don't forget any of your stuff when you go. I didn't bring any. Right, well, uh, thanks. See ya. Well, let's see her. She is not kindness. She don't think like I'm kind. She think I'm confident. She don't know humor. And she just doesn't think I just got lucky. Well, Good evening. I'm Derek. Evening host. Hello. 
Derek? Am I in trouble? <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, unfortunately, the lady that was sat at this table, she had to leave early. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, right. So are you filling in for her? Did she pull a runner when she saw me? No, nothing of the sort. She uh, is a musician. Had a gig to get to. Well, that is pretty fair. That's a good alibi. How did the rest of them go? Find what you're looking for? Oh, is she the last one? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of glad about that because I don't really know how many more I had left in me. Well, I'm sure you made a fantastic impression. Yeah, I have met some great women. They are all very different. So you have given me a really tough call to make. Well, that's what we like to hear. Yeah. What a great dilemma to have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't really know how they feel about me, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. We will. <laughs> so, how long have you been hosting? I have lots of hosting experience, but specifically the speed deck and stuff, just at the beginning of lockdown. So those were digital, I presume? Mm-hmm, correct. For me, finding love is the most formative journey of our lives, and I just wanted to help people continue that journey, despite the circumstances. Having said that, there is no real substitute for meeting someone special in person. So from these, have you ever had any marriages develop? Mm-hmm, yeah, we've had a couple. Uh, even a couple of babies named after me. <laughs> yeah. Need to put it in my bio. Pregnancy facilitator. Derek. No, you, you really don't, because that sounds like something that would be on a t-shirt on a lad's holiday. <laughs> the stag do t-shirts, you're right. Okay. I actually think I've seen them before. I'll sell like hotcakes, all right. <laughs> so how did you hear about us? I was duped into coming here this evening. I thought I was going out for a drink with my best mate, Misha, and here I am. Uh, she's actually somewhere here. She's on a date somewhere, I don't know. But... Well, I, I love a strong male-female friendship. Do you prefer the company of women or men? Come again? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll rephrase. Who do you feel like you naturally engage with more easily? I have always found it easier to fit in with women. I think I'm just more comfortable sharing my thoughts and experiences with them. It, no, it's not that I'm uncomfortable talking to men. Oh, no, of course not. I mean, we're chatting freely, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> You are halfway, guys. Halfway. God. Don't tell anyone I forgot. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> Thanks. So tell me, what is the best way to approach all of this? Well, aside from being yourself. Well, let me rephrase that. Do you have any less crap advice? No, I don't. Sorry. The thing is, there's so many different types of personalities in here. One person's poison might be another person's paradise. Yeah, that is a fair point. Mm. Okay, I'll pose you this. Are you looking for someone more lively or laid back? Because that may decide what kind of energy you want to exude yourself. They're both are brilliant, but... What is laid back? Charming. Kathleen, she is mature on confidence. I think I'm mature. Brandy, no. Azala, she's not good. Tony's better. Laid back. I like Tony, I don't know. Markedly different. I definitely want someone who is dynamic and a lively personality to just spice up my life. Oh, not to dominate though. No, because that can just be a whole different thing. It can get toxic. Um, although, there's no harm in me being put in my place from time to time. No, crack of the whip. <laughs> I never said I was into that. <laughs> I was wondering, has hosting these made you an expert in romance? Or what, like some kind of love guru? No. <laughs> no. No, come on, you must have more insight than the average guy. Okay, wait, wait, okay. Has it ever helped in your personal life? Sadly, no. No, it's still very single. Why, did you have someone in mind for me? Yeah. Misha, she would love to meet you. She's here, I can introduce you. Um, I'm sure Misha's fab, but I won't be interested. It's a bit mean. What's wrong with her? Well, she's a her. Yeah, sorry. Um, no, 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 I shouldn't have assumed. That was silly of me. You're fine. Totally fine. 
So what other events do you host? So a lot for the queer community. So we do a lot of, obviously, speed dating. Um, we do traffic light parties, lock and key parties, all sorts. Ready? Okay, it is your final minute, guys. Final minute. Let's stop again. Sorry, uh, what were we? We were talking about your queer events. Yes. Um, yeah, you should come sometime. Sorry, are you assuming that I'm still gonna be single after this? I don't know, maybe see it as a safety net. I appreciate the invite, Derek. It is just really not my thing. Understood, it's all good. Um, so maybe see you at another one of these then? I mean, hopefully not. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> not again. Because I wanted to work out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it should, I should be doing my job, right? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Where are we at? Okay. That, unfortunately, ladies and gents, is the end of tonight's event. Everyone get home safely. I've been Derek, and thanks for coming. What can I say? Thank you again, Derek. Thank you for keeping me company because I would have been sat here like a melon otherwise. <laughs> no, you're welcome. I hope you had fun. And yeah, I guess I'll see you around. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well... Uh, there was Azalea. Mm. Yeah, she was something else. She brought her own kombucha. She had her own goblet that she brought. Goblet? Yeah, with a crow on it. It's just very different, but it was really interesting, because it wasn't like any of the other dates I went on. Was there chemistry over kombucha? Yeah, I guess you could say there was a little <laughs> bit of chemistry, yeah. I could see it going somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, and an absolutely nuts thing happened. I was supposed to be meeting um, for this day this musician, but she bailed. Mm -hmm. And then, do you remember the host? Yeah. Yeah, Derek is his name. So I was sitting there, and he came up and told me about um, the girl who had to leave. And then we sat down, we just started talking. You and Derek! <laughs> yeah, oh God, yeah, he's I just... Love that. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you saw plenty of him as well. He's just, he's, yeah, he's a cool guy. He's very, very suave. Is there chemistry with Derek? Uh, chemistry? No. It was just... He was a sound fella, and it was good of him to talk to me, otherwise I wasn't just been sitting there. <laughs> yeah, no, but he was, he was a good dude. Oh. There was Kathleen, who was a PhD student studying psychology. She was very, she was reading on our oh. date. She was just very smart, it was a little bit intimidating. Do you think there'll be more from Kathleen? There could be, yeah. I mean, I kind of felt like, yeah, we got on well. That's exciting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. now let me tell you about Tony. She is a football player. Wow. Professional. Wow. She was just quite laid back. Um, sort of person who was like, give as good as you can get, you know? That sounds fun. Do you think there might be a future with the footballer? I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but yeah, I could. I, I'd, lo I'd love to see her again. Aww. There was Brandy. Let me tell you about Brandy. My God, she was a... She would put you to shame the amount of work she would do. She is a crypto trading beautician, and she's studying as well. Wow, what a combination. I don't even know how she finds the time to do all of it. Was there a spa? Yeah, yeah, yeah there was. I, no, I liked her. She's, um, she, she, she'd make you raise, raise your game, you know? And your game needs to be raised. Well, so you keep telling me. Yeah. So, what's the next move? I don't really know. I kind of have a few options, so... Mm, Mr. Popular. Yeah, well, you know, what can I say? Um, I guess I just need to think about it a little bit. And see where I go from there. Yeah. Proud of you. Peace. Select your dates, Kathleen. Zayla, Brandy, I think football then. Post Athletic. Select your second date. Okay. She is good though. 
Well, that's her dad. I forget to give her life. Ask for second day. Okay, um, Kathleen. I prepare my poems intended. Oh, she is cute. Ask for second day. Download file error, app not own. What do you mean? Ah, damn. Well, like guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We're gonna be delete this and try to get it again if we get that high. For now, I gotta go. Bye bye. Take care. Love you all. Allah Hafiz. Sayonara. Pakistan, Zindabad, I guess. Or peace. As always.